The government announced that the municipal solid waste charging scheme will not be implemented on August 1st. There's also no timeline released on when or whether the scheme will be rolled out again. The administration stressed waste reduction campaigns are long-term efforts and it will report the government's relevant work after one year. Jackie Lin with details. The government today announced it will put the citywide municipal solid waste charging scheme on hold. That's after 20 years of deliberations and two delays amid concerns from various sectors. Deputy Chief Secretary for Administration Chuck Wing Hing said the decision was made based on six factors. They include results from research and surveys that show reservations from citizens and limited coverage of recycling facilities. <coughs> Chuck said they should not rush to change the habits of more than 7 million residents, and such environmental policies require long term efforts. We have spent well. Secretary for Environment and Ecology Zhe Ching Wen said the government will study ways to optimize the waste charging scheme, including easing the financial burdens of some sectors and individuals, the design of the designated trash bags, and streamlining the operations. It's a great step forward and it's the right idea, but it does lack a bit of foresight because we don't necessarily have the right recycling facilities in Hong Kong. A lot of people think you know, it's very expensive to spend extra money on this. And I even hear some people say, oh, if I don't buy the rubbish, it doesn't matter, I just leave it on the floor. Is the government going to collect it? With the rollback of the August 1st implementation, the government announced a slew of recycling measures. They include doubling the number of food waste recycling bins at public housing estates and other major residential estates citywide within one year. There will be 100 mobile food waste recycling spots set up in each district. Food waste recycling facilities will be set up at 100 refuse collection points as well. The number of community recycling facilities screened at community will be increased from 200 to 800 with their working hours extended. The government will consider turning the green money or points collected from recycling items into consumption vouchers. 20 designated trash bags will be handed out to public housing tenants each month for half a year starting next month. Zhe Wen also said they will work with different organizations to step up education and publicity on their environmental policies. He added the government will report the work to relevant panels at the Legislative Council in the middle of 2025. Jack Lin, TVB News.